Well, guys. I made a huge mistake. My entire last video had no sound in it. I can't tell you why. My microphone was working. Something happened, it should be fixed now. So I'm debating whether or not I should put it in Movie Maker and just redo it. But I, I'm kind of lazy and I kind of don't want to do that. So if that last video was all silent, I apologize. I am so pissed off though. That was 26 minutes of silence. You know what? I'm not going to upload it. Here's what happened. I kept talking to Yuri, and we read a book together. Alright? So we're, we were bonding, getting closer. Alright? If you want to see that scene, I guess you're going to have to watch somebody else play the game. Because I'm not going to upload a 26 minute video of just silence and music. There's no point. You, it, it would be better if you just played it yourself. But, um, there was some character development. We grew. We got to know each other. Now we're sharing the, uh, the poems. So it's pretty much all that happened. And I'm just really pissed off. Because that happened. And so I just wasted time, you know, recording that. So I'm just, I hate myself right now. So, so yeah. Anyway, let's go talk to Monica, I guess. So pissed off. Hi, Genox. How's the writing going? All right, I guess. I'll take that. As long as it's not going bad. I'm happy that you're applying yourself. Maybe soon you'll come up with a masterpiece. Uh -huh. I want to count on that. You never know. Want to share what you wrote for today? Sure, here you go. Give my phone to Monica. Alright. Great job, Alex. I was going, ooh, in my head while reading it. It's really metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. I guess I underestimated you. It's easiest for me to keep everyone's expectations low. That way, it always counts when I put in some effort. <laughs> That's not very fair. Well, I guess it worked anyway. You know that Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? Writing that's full of imagery and symbolism. Unlike Sayori, who likes using simple and direct words to describe happiness and sadness, Yuri likes it when readers are left to derive their own meaning out of it. It's very challenging to write like that effectively. Both allowing people to get something out of it just by feel, or letting them deeply analyze all the nuances. I can, it can take years of practice, which I'm assuming Yuri has had at this point. I never really asked, though. I'm sure I'm nowhere near her level yet. Don't worry so much about that. You do your own thing. Just keep exploring and learn by trying new things. But anyway, you want to read my poem now. I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. Alright, let's take a look. I am so pissed off that the last one didn't work, though. Super pissed off. Anyway. The colors save me. The colors, they won't stop. Bright, beautiful colors flashing, expanding, piercing. Red, green, blue. An endless canopy of meaningless noise. The noise, it won't stop. Violent, grating waveforms. Speaking, screeching, piercing. Scene, coasting, tangent, like playing a chalkboard at a turntable, like playing a vinyl on a pizza crust, an endless poem of meaningless. That's really low to me. That's sad. Hmm. It's even more abstract than your last one, huh? <laughs> I guess it's just the way I write. I'm sorry if you don't like it. No, I never said that. It's just... Kind of a thing I've never really seen before, I guess. Kind of like playing with my space on the paper. Choosing where and how to space your words can totally change the mood of the poem. It's almost like magic. The way I wrote the lines really short makes it feel like they're trying to speak over the noise. I see. Still hard for me to tell what it's about, though. 
Uh -huh. Sometimes asking what a poem is, is is about isn't the right question. A poem can be an abstract as a physical expression of feeling. Let me just check to make sure that okay, the audio is working this time. Or a conversation with the reader. So putting it that way, not every poem is about something. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. You what? 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 Wait, wait, wait! This isn't the tutorial! Why are you telling me this to save my game? You should even know this is a game. One second. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, I'm sorry about it, kid. <coughs> Man. Ah. Oh. Oh. I'm not feeling well. If you can tell. Alright. Or when something unexpected may happen. Wait. Is this tip even about writing? What am I even talking about? <laughs> That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Alrighty. That's weird. Nah. Hell, nah. Nah, see, I don't give crap up about Suki. Oh, hello. Oh! Let me just save again. Can't believe you guys missed all of that. I'm so pissed off. Ooh, I like this one, Alex. It has some nice feeling in it. Feelings in it. I'm glad. Still, though, your tone makes it sound like you liked yesterday's poem better. <laughs> I guess you caught me. Sometimes you know me a little too well for my own good. Well, don't just try to be nice about it. If I'm doing a bad job, then I'd rather just hear it. No, no, no. I still like this one, I promise. You know, I wouldn't lie to you, Alex. Never, ever. Yeah, I guess so. What made yesterday's poem so great compared to this one, then? Um, I'm not very good at figuring out if poems are good or bad. But that's why I just go by my heart. If it makes me feel things, then it must be a good poem. I'm not sure that's exactly how it works. Then I guess conveying feelings is a pretty important part of this whole thing. Yeah, maybe. Honestly, I don't even know what kind of writing you like in the first place. Yeah, me neither. Ugh. Why don't Why don't you at least try giving it some thought? Uh, you want me to write something? You want to write something for me? That's so sweet. Yeah, uh, right. But you're always thinking about other people. You need to think about yourself once in a while. If you don't, you might end up getting hurt at some point. Eh. Well, I don't really know what you mean, but I'll try to keep it in mind. Well, whatever. Anyway, let's see. Hmm, I guess I like happy poems. Wait, sometimes I like sad poems, too. Sometimes a little bit of both. There's a word for that, right? What's the word I'm looking for? Bittersweet. Yeah, I like the things that are happy and things that are sad. Happy and sad. <clears throat> I can't see you liking something sad, Sayori. Well, I like happy the most. But sometimes you have a little rain cloud in your head. A sad poem can help give the rain cloud a little hug. And make a nice happy rainbow. Sorry, that's unexpectedly po poetic. Eh, it is. I may be getting better at expressing my feelings after all. Thanks, Alex. I should go write that down then. You can read my poem now, okay? Bottles. I pop up my scalp like the lid of a cookie jar. It's a secret place where I keep all my dreams. Little balls of sunshine. All nabbing together like a bundle of kittens. I each inside with my thumb and forefinger and pluck one out. It's warm and tingly, but there's no time to waste. I put it in a bottle to keep it safe. And I put the bottle on the shelf with all the other bottles. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts in a bottle all in a row. My collection makes a lot of friends. Each bottle will starlight to make amends. Sometimes my friends feel a certain way. Down comes a bottle to save the day. 
Night after night, more dreams. Friend after friend, more bottles. Deeper and deeper my fingers go, like exploring a dark cave, discovering the secrets hiding in the nooks and crannies. Digging and digging, scraping and scraping. I blow dust off my bottle cap. It doesn't feel like time elapsed. My empty shelf could use some more. My friend looked through my locked front door. Finally, all done. I open up and come in, and, and in comes my friends. And they come in such a hurry. Do do they want my bottle that's that much? I frantically pull them from the shelf one after the other, howling them out to each and every friend, each and every bottle. But every time I let one go, it shatters against the title between my feet. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts and shards all over the floor. They were supposed to be for my friends. My friends who aren't smiling. They're all shouting, pleading something. All I hear is an echo, 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 echo inside my head. Holy crap. Siri, did you really write this? Of course I did. Did I tell you yesterday I was going to write the best poem ever? Yeah, but... I mean, I expect something like this coming from you. Monica taught me a whole lot. And I've been really in touch with my feelings recently. I see that. It's almost kind of creepy. <coughs> <coughs> I'm gonna die. <coughs> ah, I can't. Hold on, give me one second. <coughs> creepy. Well, not exactly. Maybe because I'm so used to you being cheerful. Well, never mind. I'm thinking too hard about it. The point is, it came out good, so you should be proud of it. Oh, thanks. I feel like. I feel like I was meant to express myself this way. It even helps me understand my own feelings a little bit better. Writing is like magic. You've gotten pretty passionate about this, huh? I hope you keep it up. Yeah! Writing's the best. I'm gonna keep writing until I die. It might be soon. Aha, uh -huh. don't get ahead of yourself. Sierra always has a habit of getting obsessed with something before dropping it no more than a week later. <laughs> I wonder if this is one of those times. But seeing the passion arise make it hard for me to be pessimistic. Oh crap, Natsuki, you little tit. Hmm. I liked your last one better. Oh, really? Well, yeah, I can tell you're a little more daring with this one. But you're really not good enough for that. It fell flat. That may be true, but I wanted to try something different. Who the hell would ever want to go after her? I'm still figuring this all out. I mean, I always like poems that aren't trying too hard. I hate when people try to sound fancy or add more meaning just by using annoying and complicated language. Just make it simple, cute, and to the point. Yuri's head over heels for all this cryptic nonsense, but I see right through that BS. Ha! Making your reader look so hard for all this deep meaning is just an excuse to have no meaning at all. I guess that's one way to look at it. Well, everyone has their own opinion. But my opinion is the best opinion. I'm sure you figured that out already. SJW. Oh, no. Also, unfortunately, because you didn't get to see the last part, the whole 26 minutes that you guys missed, oh, I'm so pissed. So pissed. Anyway. Oh, dude, I was making so much fun of all the weeaboos, but I, I, you, just, you can't have that jokes now. It's just, it's just gone. It's, uh, it's such a... It's a disgrace to all of human nature. Um... Anyway, here's my poem. Maybe you'll learn something. Amy likes spiders. You know what I heard about Amy? Amy likes spiders. Icky. Wiggly. Hairy, ugly spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a cute singing voice. I heard her singing my favorite love song. Every time she sang the chorus, my heart would pound to the rhythm of the words. But she likes spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. One time I hurt my leg really bad and Amy helped me up. Helped me up and took me to the nurse. I tried not to let her touch me. She likes spiders, so her hands are probably gross. That's why I'm not friends with her. Crap, I didn't finish it! What? Not bad, right? It was garbage! I didn't get to finish it. It's quite a bit longer than yesterday's. Yesterday was way too short. I was just warming up. I hope you didn't think that was the best I could do. No, of course not. Anyway, the message is pretty straightforward in this poem. I doubt I have to explain it. Sometimes you can explain complicated issues with much simpler analogies. And it helps people realize how stupid they're being. Like, anyone would agree that the subject of this poem is an ignorant jerk. Do you know people like that? Of course! It's about how everyone thinks my... That doesn't matter. It could be about anything. I read it to be easy to relate to. Everyone has some kind of weird hobby or guilty pleasure. Something that you're a 
afraid if people find out. They make fun of you or think less of you. But that just makes people stupid. Who cares what someone likes? As long as they're not hurting anyone and it makes them happy. I really hate this girl. I freaking want to kill myself. This whole weeaboo thing is killing me. I think people really need to learn to respect others for liking weird things. That's funny. You already wrote about something similar today. Huh? Did you say Yuri? Yeah. Whoa, 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 boy. Weeboo Jones. Anyway, sorry. She said her poem was about an unusual hobby of hers. I didn't really get it, but she said something similar to you. Alright, good. I just want to make sure it's working, because I do not want it to die again. That people shouldn't make each other feel insecure about these things. Really? Well... I mean, you're just pretty weird, so I wouldn't doubt that she had some weird hobbies. You need to shut up. Oh my gosh. Can, like, one of the other girls beat you since I can't? <laughs> so annoying. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Uh, it's not like I would judge her or anything. Asuki has trouble finding words. I, I guess I should try not to be so mean to her. If she feels insecure about her weird behaviors and stuff. I mean, I always hate people who make me feel insecure. And Yuri made me feel insecure yesterday. But that way you put it, it sounds like she learned her lesson. Well, I would say so. Even if... Oh, sorry. Even if her writing style is really different, I'm sure she'll appreciate the message in her poem. It's what I do best, after all. I don't like writing unless there's a good message to take away from it. Like, conveying emotion is important. But I want to make people think, not just feel. Remember that. I'm going to write a good one for tomorrow, too, so look forward to it. Okay, everyone. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? I have something extra planned today, so if everyone can come sit in the front of the room. Is this about the festival? Well, sort of. Sorry, I didn't say your voice right. Ah, do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we can put together anything good in just a few days. We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. There's a concern of mine as well. I don't only do well with last minute preparations. Don't worry so much. We're gonna keep it simple, okay? You won't need much more than a few decorations. Siori has been working on posters and I've designed some pamphlets we can give out during the event. Okay, that's great and all, but that doesn't tell us what we're actually gonna be doing for the event. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I thought you heard about it already. We're gonna be performing. P -p performing um, Monica? Yeah, we're gonna have a- ha we're gonna be having a poetry performance. Each of us are going to choose a poem to recite during the event. But the cool part is, we're also going to let anyone else come up and recite poems, too. So you're just putting it all on the posters in case anyone wants to prepare ahead of time. <laughs> so who's been coloring a poster holds it up for us to see. Are you kidding me, Monica? You- you didn't- you already start putting those posters up, did you? Oh, well, <laughs> I did. Do you really think it's that bad of an idea? Well, no. It's not a bad idea. But I didn't sign up for this, you know. There is no way I'm going to be performing in front of a group of people like that. I agree with Matsuki. I could never in my life do something like that. Imagining it, Yuri shakes her head in fear. Guys! No, Sayori. I understand where they're coming from. I remember that Natsuki and Yuri has never shared their poems with anyone until just a couple days ago. It's a lot to ask for them to recite their poems out loud to a whole room full of people. I guess I kind of overlooked that. So, I'm sorry. But, I still think we should give it our best. We're the only ones responsible for the fate of this club. If we start the event and each of us puts on a good performance, then it will inspire others to do the same. And the more people who perform, the better we'll be able to do to show everyone what literature is all about. Yeah! It's about expressing your feelings, being intimate with yourself, finding new horizons, and having fun. That's right. And it's those reasons that we're all in this club today. Don't you want to share that with others? To inspire them to find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place? I know you do. I know we all do. And if it all and if all it takes is standing in front of a room for two minutes and reciting a poem, then I know you can do it.
Natsuki and Yuri remain silent. Oh, what time is it? Alright, cool. So he looks worried. I guess that leaves me no choice. I agree. I don't think it's too much to ask. I think that Siori and Monica have been trying really hard to get new members. The least we can do is help them out a little bit. Well, maybe, but... It looks like Natsuki doesn't have any arguments left. Uh, okay, fine! I guess I just have to get it over with. Alright! Phew. Thanks, Natsuki. What about you, Yuri? We dejectedly glances around everyone else at expected faces. <sighs> I guess I don't really have a choice. Aha, uh -huh, that's everyone. You're the best, Yuri. This club is seriously going to be the death of me. Oh gosh. You'll be fine, Yuri. But anyway, let's move on to the main event. I want each of you to choose a poem of yours. We're going to practice reciting them in front of each other. N n no way! Monica, this is too sudden. Well, if you can't recite your poem in front of the club, how do you expect to do it in front of strangers? Oh no. Don't worry. I'll still have to help everyone feel a little more comfortable. Can I go next? Uh -huh, of course. Now let's see. Monica flips through her notebook to a specific poem she has in mind for herself. She then stands behind the podium. The title of this poem is The Way They Fly. <clears throat> Monica begins reciting a poem. Her clear, confident voice fills the room. More than that, her inflection is pristine. She knows exactly how to apply emotion behind each line she recites, bringing the word to life. Is this something she's done before, or is she simply a natural? They glance around me. Everyone has their eyes on Monica. Siori looks amazed. There is an intense expression on her face that I don't understand. Finally, Monica finishes the rec rec recitation. The four of us applaud. Monica takes a breath and smiles. That, that was so good, Monica. <laughs> Thank you very much. I was just hoping to set a good example. Are you ready to go next, Siori? I'll go next. But Yuri's fired up all of a sudden. Yuri clutches a sheet of paper between her hands and stands up. Keep her head down, she walks quickly over to the podium. This poem is called... Yuri anxiously glances at each of us. You can do it, Yuri. It is... It's called... After Image of a Crimson Eye. Yuri's voice shakes as she starts reading the poem. Just a moment ago, she practically refused to do this. Why is she suddenly putting in so much effort? Yuri gets past the first couple lines, her voice changes. It's almost like what happens when Yuri gets absorbed into her books. Her quivering words transform into the sharp syllables of a fierce and confident woman. The poem is full of twists and turns in its structure that she enunciates with perfect timing. This must be a rare glimpse into the whirling fire Yuri keeps concealed inside her head. Suddenly she's finished. Everyone is stunned. Yuri snaps back into Rhea and glances around her as if she's bewildered, even herself. I... It's up to me to save this situation. I'm the first to start applauding. Everyone joins me afterwards and we give Yuri the recognition she deserves. It's not that we didn't want to applaud for her, but we were caught so off guard that we must have forgotten. As we applaud, Yuri holds the poem to her chest and rushes back into her seat. Yuri, that was really good. Thank you for sharing. Looks like Yuri's down for the count. Okay! I guess I'm next then. So Yuri hops out of her chair and cheerfully walks out to the podium. This one's called My Meadow. Ah. Uh huh. Sorry, I giggled. <laughs> Sayori. So long as I thought. How did you guys do it so easily? Uh, try not to think of, of it like you're reciting to other people. Imagine you're reciting it to yourself, like in front of a mirror in your own head. It's your poem, so it'll come out the best that way. I see, I see. Okay then. So here begins her poem. Somehow it feels like her soft voice is made as a perfect match. The poem isn't aimlessly cheery like Sayori is. It's serene and bittersweet. If I were to read this on paper, I probably wouldn't think much of it. But hearing it come from Siri's voice almost gives it a whole new meaning. I mean, this is what Siri meant when she said she likes my poems. It's like I get to reach more deeply into someone I thought I knew through and through. Siri finishes and we applaud. I did it! Good job, Siri. <laughs> even Alex liked it. I guess that's a good sign. What does that even mean? It came out nicely, Siri. The atmosphere of the poem fits you really nicely. But it might be the other poems wouldn't work quite as well with that kind of delivery. Eh, I don't really understand. In other words, I've seen poems of yours where that sort of gentle delivery wouldn't work as well. They might need a little bit more force behind them, depending on what you're reading. Oh, I know what you mean. That's well... I've been practicing that kind of thing. It's just embarrassing to do in front of everyone. <laughs> the next time, I'm going to make you pick a poem that challenges you a little more. We don't have much time before the festival, you know. Okay! 
Oh, who's next? Atsuki? Hmm. Don't make me go before Alex. It's not like I can compare to you guys anyway. Might as well let Alex lower everyone's standards a little before I have to do it. You're such a tit! Natsuki? It's fine. It's fine. I might as well get it over with. It's not like I, I have a much of a selection of what to read. I'll just have to go with what I wrote for today. I stand up and step in front of the podium. Everyone has their eyes on me, making me feel terribly awkward. I recite my poem. Since I'm not exactly confident in my writing, it's hard to put energy into it. Despite that, once I finish, I receive applause anyway. Sorry, I'm not really as good as everyone else. Don't worry about it so much. I think it's less about your abilities and more about your lack of confidence in your writing. That's something that'll improve over time, though. Yeah, maybe. Alright, then. That just leaves you, Natsuki. Yeah, yeah. I'm going. Natsuki begrudgingly gets out of her seat and makes her way to the podium. The poem is called... It's called... Why are you all looking at me? Because you're presenting. Hmm. Anyway, the poem is called Jump. That's who he takes a breath. When she starts reciting the poem, her sour attitude disappears a little. While she's still a little unenthused, her poem has a rhythm and, and a rhythm to it. It's not Suki's trademark style, and it works surprisingly well when spoken aloud. <laughs> the words feel like they bounce up and down as if giving life to the poem. Natsuki finishes and everyone applauds. She asks back to her seat. That wasn't so bad, was it? Easy for you to say. You better not make me do that again. Oh, well, do you at least feel prepared enough to recite a poem in front of other people? I mean, doing it in front of other people will be way easier. I can put on whatever face I want for the other people. But when it's just my friends, it's just embarrassing. That's a surprise, Natsuki. I think it would be... I think it would be the other way around for me. Well, that's just how it is, so... Well, I guess in that case, you won't have much to worry about for the festival. That said, I want to thank everyone for coming out. It might be hard, but I hope that you all have an idea of what it is like now. Make sure you pick a poem and get enough practice before the festival, okay? I'm making pamphlets. So let me know ahead of time what you'll be reciting. Jeez. <coughs> should probably find some other poem to recite instead. That's fine, too. doesn't have to be your own. I'm already pleasantly surprised that you're putting in all this effort for the club. It makes me really happy. Oh, yeah. No problem. Okay, everyone. I think that's about it for today. I know the festival's coming up, but let's try to write poems for tomorrow as well. It's been working out really nicely so far. I'd like to continue that. As for the festival, we'll finish planning tomorrow. And then we'll have the weekend to prepare. Monday's the big day. Can't wait! I can do this. I can do this. Alright. I stand up. There's no way I'll be able to find the same enthusiasm as Sayori and Monica, but I'll do my best to get through it. It's for the sake of the club. And impressing Monica. Then I'll have to do my best. Ready to go, Sayori? Yep. Look at you two, always going home together like that. It's kind of adorable, isn't it? <laughs> Jeez, guys. Don't make such a big deal out of it. It must be a little nice, though. Well, uh, how am I supposed to respond to that? It's okay, Alex, you don't have to say it. Whatever, th let's just go. I need to, alright, I need to save it here and then end it, so. Um... I would sincerely just like to apologize for making you miss 26 minutes of this Let's Play. I am so, so sorry. I don't know what was wrong with the recording, but you just... I would upload it, but there would be no point, because you really can't hear anything I say. So there's no point. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up for showing up so the time. Um, if you want to know what you missed, then just go search it up on YouTube. You only... You didn't miss too much, you just met... You just missed a little bit of me and Yuri getting a bit closer. That's about it. Um, and then I made a bunch of weeaboo jokes. So, that's all you really missed. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give a thumbs up. Showing up so a ton. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm sorry you missed 26 minutes. I apologize. Um, that will never happen again. And as always, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.